out today with Mateo's birthday. Happy birthday! Happy Thank birthday you. to you! We have a trail there we call the white Happy birthday! Happy birthday, happy birthday to you! And we are in Scotland. This is the place where you can see the Caribbean. See on one side, the Atlantic Ocean on the other side. And it's like I know there's a name for this type of landform, but uh, it's separate, but it's not because it's like a tack, like a little piece. It's quite pretty. I think I already showed you what it's in the distance. Our driver was just commenting on how difficult it is because a lot of times, not difficult, but people will always be in between two French islands. People don't know Dominica and they usually, when people say they're from Dominica, people think this is Dominican Republic. And this is a different island. Telling me I can hear the water rolling the stone. I'll try for a few seconds, see what y'all hear. I'm definitely hearing something other than the wheels. Ah, uh, just realized today I said I was gonna walk with my mics and I forgot. Did you hear it? Sorry, kidding. Mics next time. Just see steam. It's difficult to see actually. But we are at Champagne Beach. Should be able to see the bubbles. Go ahead, Mateo. You think you can make it? You can walk all the way through the hot water. Here he comes. It's getting hotter, but he's still coming. He's coming. He's coming. Woo! He made it. He made it. I don't think he's going to make it, but you could try it. All yeah, try. Here he comes. Just tell yourself it's just going to be a little bit hot, but if you keep going, you'll make it to the end. Here we go. Here comes Matthias in the hot water. It's burning. It's burning. It's burning. But he's making it. Woo! He made it. All right. So this is Champagne Beach. When you go down, you'll see bubbles bubble up like what we saw earlier. While you're snorkeling in particular. Uh, but it's not going to be hot. It's going to be cool. Where we were before... And the sulfur that was hot. I can attest to that. That was souffre. Air. So 
we came from all the way down there. We're gonna go in human tripod mode. Let's see what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah. Just to give an example of how far we've traveled. And here we are. We're on our way to the freshwater lake. Mon Tropi Trois. Three peaks. Supplies the vast majority of Dominica's water. And that there, it's kind of difficult to see right now, but that is the highest village in Dominica. Now we're at the freshwater lake. Um, we in just on a bit, so we can get much footage on the way. 14 acres of water. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. For me, the um, like size and stuff for this one, 85 feet deep. It's a, it's a large body of water. It consists of 14 acres of water. 40 acres of water. 85 feet deep. 85 feet deep. So, I've been told this is where they would do like kayaking and that sort of stuff, but it's raining, so I could close the window, not getting the best shot of it. And the interesting thing is, we went up a lot of, in the mountains, twenty five hundred feet, and then we went up higher, and then we find this thing. So, it's really cool, like, I mean, this, it's long, I'm just showing you my window, it extends and extends and extends. And extends. Nice. Okay, so we can see. I was wondering where they are. They're down there, by a little. Some people around have some Kalinago features. I mean, the place is just like a big, I don't even know what to call it, nature concentration. So it's really nice. It's a another look at the Caribbean. They're busy talking about Maria. And now we get a closer look at the lake. Oh, so they're the kayaks if you want to go kayaking. We are now headed towards the Trafalgar Falls. Um, we talked at the beginning, said it was about a 10 minute walk. And yeah, like I said, all the walks, hikes, nature stuff in Dominica, it may seem, I don't know what we're looking for, like, I don't know, I can't say it's the same, but look at this, this one is going down. This is, they're different, they're interesting, they're well. Um, there's always an information area and um, I can see why it's the nature they have a lot to promote and put on them and putting it together so neatly so here is our adventure now to Trafalgar Falls the wood slippery today the wood is slippery okay and it's supposed to have a some wire over it here Okay, so I was looking for an epic experience, and I have. I have seen beauty and greenery and all those things, but this one, this one, nice wood. I have to see this. This one, real nice. Look at this. One and two. Get high up. It's whoa. And the waves coming down. I'm trying to see so you can see both at the same time. 
this is something to see. Really pretty. Thing with the amount of rivers and waterfalls and stuff like that in Dominica it's like it feels like you just gotta rush and go especially if you have limited days like us if you had a lot of days you could go and date and enjoy each one but we're still trying to get to the south of springs so we did not go into bed we took some pictures took in the moment and now we are heading out as always an information center in each um, nature spot or waterfalls so all the information can be found here we've now made a little stop to see um i think it's is this a boiling lake no that's a sulfur a sulfur what something guess in dominica you have so much things yeah, a crater sulfur spring Look at it, but a boiling sulfur spring. Nature. No, 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 no. How you make a second child, a third child, a fourth, third child? No, 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 no. No, you gotta rinse off in a cool one. Or you could just stay dry, I don't know. No. Yeah, 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 but let me go. Yes, you have to go now. No, 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 that's the best time to go.